over again. Nothing fancy here. Ow. Backbreaker. I'm backbreaker. He might have been waiting on that one. Oh, and the rolling next snap. Snap mare. Oh, and a snap mare. That'll give you whiplash. Enziguri. Oh, what impact. That connected. I think that was harder than the first time, Cole. Oh. The Undertaker is a force within the ring. Again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. Oh, and that's the second time. You don't want to get hit with that once, let alone twice. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. What impact! The Undertaker wins. The Undertaker gets it done, folks. This is a matchup where in order to stand victorious, you must destroy an opponent's body, mind, and soul. We knew this had to happen this way between these competitors. They absolutely cannot stand each other. Remember, no disqualifications. Anything goes, no counts, no pinfalls, and no submissions. This is where you find out what someone's capable of with a match that takes brutality to a whole new level. Don't worry about repercussions or tomorrow. If you feel it, do it. The only limit is your imagination. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. 
In 2017, Heath Slater and Rhino took their drive to become SmackDown Tag Team Champions to the special event known as the Elimination Chamber. In a tag team turmoil match, Beauty and the Man Beast, as they're known, competed against Breezango, the Vaude Villains, and the Usos before they were eliminated. Oh. Leg sweep. Oh, nicely done. Ultimate Warrior finds a way out. Look out here. He's got something cooking. Close line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. Ah, look at this. Spinning arm breaker. Corey, some have said that targeting a competitor's leg in these matches is the best strategy. Do you agree? Well, it's the first thing I'd do. The whole purpose of this match is to not allow your opponent to stand. If you can't use your legs, you can't stand. During the tag team turmoil match at Elimination Chamber, Heath Slater and Rhino looked like they were on a roll after disposing of Brizongo and the Vaude Villains. But on that night, the Usos had their number. To me, Slater and Rhino showed at the 2017 Elimination Chamber that they didn't care about the match type, number of opponents, or stipulations. Beauty and the Man Beast wanted to reclaim SmackDown Tag Team Gold. Ooh! Something big is coming. Ah. Oh, Jeez. great display of strength with the suplex. Heath Slater forced to play defense here. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Elbow drop! One! I'm no mathematician, Two. guys, but by my calculations, a last man three. standing match is more than three times as brutal as a traditional Four. match. After all, you only need to keep your opponent Five. down for a three count in a traditional match. Snap power slam! On the topic of traditional matches versus last man standing matches, Corey makes a great point. In matches such as this, Two, you have to keep your opponent down for a count of 10, three, which oftentimes results in increased brutality four, and danger, Michael. Five. Six, we will go on. He's in control. Slam! Here comes the ultimate warrior. One. He's looking relentless. Two. Three. There is so much on the line in this Four. one. And like they say, on any given night, Five. anything can happen here in WWE. Six. Seven. This Eight. match ain't over yet. Here comes an atomic drop. Oof. Heath Slater beginning to look a little tired. His outlook is not looking good right now, guys. And I think it's safe to say his Two. chances of being the last man standing tonight are slipping away Three. with each shot he absorbs. Four. Five. And this match is going to continue. Got him up. Oh, Massive man. atomic drop. Last man Two. standing match. Nobody's leaving this one as friends. Four. Five. These guys have to knock each other down to the point that their Six. opponent can't get up. Seven. This Eight. match ain't over yet. <sighs> Military press. Momentum, the big M, the key One. word. It can switch and change at any time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
Seven. Eight. Not over yet. Up and oh, what a gut.